Hi there, I'm Ross, and today we're gonna compare Nota.ai to Water.ai to Blue.hq.com. When it comes to me, I've been in sales and recruitment for over six years, try multiple AI note-taking tools, and I wanna show you what works the best. So let's dive in. So first of all, Nota.ai. The way this product works is that you have to invite external bot to record your meeting, similarly to Water, and I will show you how it works. So if you go right now to Nota, you have to connect your calendar. Once your calendar is connected, it's gonna show you all of the upcoming meetings and you can give Nota access to basically join all of your meetings automatically and record them, or you can manually invite their board to record your meeting. The way it works is that you have to install Nota extension. Once it's installed, you go to Google Meet and here you have this Nota sign here and here. So if you want to invite the board and record your meeting, you have to click here, start recording. Once you do that, you wait for the board to join the call. And this is the bot that I was talking about. And the thing with bots is that you have to wait for them to join. In case with Nota, it's quite fast. Um, but then if you want to stop the recording, you need to kick this bot out from the meeting by clicking here, stop the recording. Or if you leave the meeting without stopping, the bot is gonna stay there and it's gonna continue recording what can be weird for people on the other side. And if you give Nota access, uh, sorry, Nota access to your calendar to join all the meetings automatically, this bots join a few minutes earlier. And again, it creates this weird feeling like people join the call and then there is this bot um, and you have to explain why it is there. So now let's stop the recording. If I wanna stop it, I click here and now recording save, check here. Once I click on the recording, this is what you get. On the right side, you get the full transcript and the audio bought out from the meeting. So you can see how it works. And then here, AI notes. What's cool about Nota is that they have different type of note. They have even templates library with different notes for different use cases, plus prompts. So you can write your own prompts that you usually use in chat GPT, and it would basically uh, use it for the summary of the meeting. So let me show you an example of the meeting that uh, I was uh, doing so here, five minutes. This is the longer meeting with the real summary. So you can see that here uh, it gives you this summary of the meeting plus chapters of the most important stuff that were discussed with timestamps. So I can jump into this moment and listen to them here. It shows me uh, who spoke the most, right? And then where I was talking my colleague, what is quite nice. And then there's this dashboard where I can see all of my meetings that have been recorded. I believe that's not very intuitive because imagine once you have like 20, 30 meetings there, all of that is basically one huge feed. Uh, then all filers and uh, this feature called scheduler. So scheduler is basically like Calendly, but created by Nota. So if you don't want to pay for Calendly, you can use it from here. And then if we go to settings, you can see that Nota has multiple integrations. So it has integration with Zoom, Salesforce, Zapier, Slack, and HubSpot, and most most of them are available only in business plan. We'll talk about pricing just now. Wait a second. And then in the automations, uh, you can create different automations with Zapper. So once the meeting is recorded, it's automatically going to the tool that you use. So that's quite nice. Important thing with Nota, you don't record the video. It's only audio and only transcription and summary. Uh, and it's similar in terms of that with Otter because Otter as well doesn't uh, give you the video of the recording. If we go right now to the pricing, yeah. So you can see that the pro plan is $15 per month and it has some limitations on how many minutes of uh, transcription you can do per month. Then the maximum recording is 90 minutes. So anything more than one and a half hours, you have to pay more. And there is a limit on how many uh, meetings uh, you can upload here. So that's why if you record lots of meetings, you would have to go for the business plan with $28 per month. And then there is like a bigger duration of the meeting and limited transcription minutes, some usage analytics and Zapier integration. So that's when it comes to Nota. You can see it's quite a simple tool. Um, what I personally like that uh, it's uh, basically, it's not overloaded with features like water you will see later. The bot joins quite fast, but it's still the bot. And um, the, the fact that it doesn't have the video is something that I don't like. So now let's take a look at another tool. And now we're gonna talk about Blue Dot. Blue Dot is the only AI note taker on the market that records a video audio transcription without bots joining the calls. And the way it works is very intuitive. You just need to install the extension. Once it's installed, you will have the sign here and it says press Command Shift S to start the recording. Or you click on the extension, select the language, select if you wanna record video and audio, audio only. 
and then just click start capture. Once you click, recording starts immediately. You don't have to wait for this bot to join the call. You don't have to explain why there is this bot. It just works seamlessly on the background. So now we are talking, I wanna stop the recording. How to do that? You either click here and then pause or finish. You click on the extension, same save, delete, resume recording. Or what's even cooler, you just stop the meeting and it immediately opens the link to the recording. Already with the video, like you don't have to wait, you can already share this video with someone and then you have to wait for the transcript. Since we haven't been talking about it a lot, I will just show an example of the video similar that I was showing in Nota. It's the same recording here, you can see it recognizes the speakers on the right side. You can search across the transcript and then here there is AI summary of the meeting. And here it's like divided into overview, then action items assigned to everyone who was on the meeting if you agreed on something and then the highlights of the meeting the highlights have this timestamps so for example here we discussed M uh, impact of ai on business and if this summary is not enough for you you just click on the timestamp okay. go and rewatch this part of the recording from that moment you can even navigate the video by navigating the text here and then on the right side you have the insights that show the talk ratio and then longest monologue, talking speed, question ask can be good for managers or for salespeople. And one feature that I personally love the most and use every day, when I have lots of sales calls and I want to write personalized email follow-ups, instead of thinking, okay, what to write, how to personalize, I just click generate AI email and Bluetooth writes the personalized email based on what was discussed with the next steps and key takeaways. So I can just copy and paste and add some of my stuff and it saves me at least like 10 minutes on writing email follow-up. And last but not least with regards to the Bluetooth, Dot, the feature is screen recording. So if you use tools like Loom to record your screen, you can basically cancel your Loom subscription and just use Blue Dot because it allows with the same extension to record your screen with your face and share updates with your clients. When it comes to the integrations, if we go here right now, Blue Dot has integration with Slack, HubSpot, Zoom, and Notion as well. When it comes to the pricing of Blue Dot, you can see that it starts with, I mean, it's free for up to five recordings. Once you try it for recordings, you have to decide if you go for basic pro or business. With basic, it's uh, only one hour maximum of recording per one time recording and then uh, unlimited meetings, but audio only. If you need video, you have to go for pro. And with pro, you get unlimited everything and uh, unlimited duration, custom meeting templates. Uh, but if you need HubSpot integration, Salesforce integration, uh, you have to pay for business plan. So that's with regards to Blue Dot. Uh, and now let's to take a look at Otter. So Otter is similar to Nota in terms of having these bots joining the, your calls. Uh, the worst part about uh, Otter is that their bot is very, very laggy. You have to wait for a long time to get this bot joining the call. And I'm going to show you it right now. So let's just um, use it. The way how you record the meeting with Otter is that you have to install the extension. Once this extension is installed, there is this huge pop up every time you start you the meeting that says, hey, add author pilot. So I have to click on it. It opens another page. I don't know why. Uh, let's just go back and like, let's imagine a real situation. I click add bot and now, and that's what I don't like about author. It might take up to two minutes to start the recording. Imagine you have an ad hoc meeting with someone. You're like, hey, can I start the recording? The person says yes. And then you have this awkward silence waiting for this bot to join the call to record the most important part. And compare it to Blue Dot, we just click and immediately start the recording. And while we're waiting for this bot, I want to show you that there is another way how Otter can join your calls. If you go to the home page, you have to connect to your calendar similarly to Nota, and then you can see all of the upcoming meetings and you can allow Otter to join all of your meetings automatically. But then again, it might join, might not join, and sometimes it joins before, creating this awkward moment when your colleagues join before you as well. Um, and uh, you can select which meetings you want to record. So if you don't want it automatically to join all the meetings, you can pre-select it beforehand, like here. But now let's go back to our ad hoc meeting. It's not that much ad hoc, right? Because I'm still waiting for this bot to join the call. And I'm not the only one who uh, doesn't like this, this, because if we go right now to the Chrome store, you can see they have 100,000 users who installed the extension and they have 2.6 reviews because people people just hate that people don't like. If you if you read the reviews, everyone is complaining that bot is late, bot can drop from the meeting and not record the meeting. So let's go back. You can see it took us like, what, two minutes and only now bot is joining. So let, let, let uh, get it in. Let's wait. And now I guess the recording should start, right, Otter? Yeah, so you can see it. Once the recording started, you have this transcription on the right side 
uh, you can even highlight something, right? How to highlight? Okay, I have this huge thing in my meeting and uh, I click highlight, nothing happens. I don't know why um, author, author is just, it's just so bad. It's getting worse every, every year. Uh, okay, I want to stop the recording. What should I do now? So with author, you either have to kick it out from here because it's a third party thing, or you go back to water, go to the meeting that is recording, and now I don't even see which meeting is recording. So uh, let's see. Oh, damn, why are you asking me all these questions? Okay, this is the meeting is recording. So I want to stop the recording. What I have to do is click stop the recording. And once I do it, it should start the recording immediately. But the bot is still there. But, okay, let's forget about bot. Let's go to this meeting that is uh, right now recording. I click stop, but it's still recording. Another annoying thing, right? I want it to stop. Why, like, again, like, you see, it's it's very buggy and it has so many things. So once the meeting is over, you get this transcript. The audio is not immediately accessible. So unlike uh, Nota or Blue Dot, you have to wait for it to process the audio, even though it's not like a very long meeting. So let's not focus on this. Let's go to a similar meeting that I was showing before, this one. And you can see that with Otter, you don't have the video, you have only audio and you have the screenshots. So it randomly takes screenshots uh, whenever it wants. And uh, you can, you can- When did you go there? You can go and listen uh, some parts of the conversation. Then there is the summary. Summary is not uh, customizable. So that's what you get. You get the quick summary, then action items. What's really cool is that you can basically uh, set that uh, action items are done. You can uh, add your colleagues to these action items. What is, I mean, it looks nice, but then the question, if I already use a to-do app, do I really want to move all of my to-dos to this tool? I'm not sure, right? I don't want to have two or three to-dos. So honestly, that's not very useful. Uh, what's cool and uh, is this AI chat feature because it allows you to ask questions and get answers based on the content of the meeting. But be careful here because this AI tends to hallucinate and answer questions not based on the meetings. It can answer any question actually, like you can ask, who is Elon Musk? Um, who is Elon Musk? And uh, you will get the answer, even though it's not something we discuss. So it kind of acts as a chat GPT. They probably use OpenAI on the backend. And if I go right now to the homepage, this is what you get. Uh, and imagine if you have like 100 meetings, how are you going to organize them? You have this huge like a Facebook feed with all the recordings, which is hard to find what you need. And then if I go to author AI chat, it's again this chat. They have a separate um, thing for this chat, separate feature. And then if I click to the apps, uh, in the apps, click apps. Yeah, it's a very buggy software. Let's update. So if I click apps, you can see that it has integration with Salesforce, HubSpot, only an enterprise version, Slack, uh, Google, Zoom, Dropbox. And uh, here is more. You can create folders. Uh, what is nice, you can organize stuff. And uh, if I want right now to upgrade, you can see that the upgrade options, and that's actually, that's not true. That's, uh, they have a different pricing. I don't know why they haven't updated here because if you go to the landing page, this is the real pricing. So it starts with $70 per month for Pro, uh, where you have a certain limit on how many hours of recording you can upload. And if you have lots of meetings, like most of us during the week, you would have to go for the business plan, which is $30 per month. Then you have a more uh, monthly minutes of transcription. You can add your colleagues and so on and so forth. So as you can see, Water AI and Nota are quite similar in terms of recording only audio. Water adds on top the screenshots, but uh, Water is very buggy and you have to wait for a long time for both to join your call. So if you want a bot free experience uh, with recording video and immediate recording, definitely check out Blue Dot. Hope that video was helpful. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.